guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have my hubby with me. Oh. So for those of you guys, I know I have quite a bit of new subscribers on here. Um, this is my husband, Chris, and um, I posted here on my Instagram, which if you guys are not following me on there, um, you should. I posted that we are going to be doing a Q&A. So we have some pretty good questions here. So let's get started. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So this question is from the Natural Bohemian, and this is actually my friend Tawny. She's such a sweetheart. So her first question is, best strategies for balancing work, kids, housework, and time for each other? And she said, it's easy to get bogged down in day-to-day -day noise and forget to really see each other. So what's our best strategy? I feel like we really don't have a strategy. <laughs> I feel like using the calendar that we have. Yeah. That so we have like a dry eraser calendar in our kitchen. In the beginning of every month, I write down everything that we have going on that month. And if I have things that pop up or if he has things that pop up, we write it down. And so it somewhat like keeps us like on a schedule. And so usually we'll try and like tie in like times for ourselves. But I mean, you kind of just have to like roll with it. I guess we kind of have a strategy, but then not. I mean, our schedule, especially our work schedule is so weird. Yeah, so. I can't strategize by it. Which we can get more into that too. Um, so this next question is from Shelly May S, which is my girl Shelly, um, and she asked, how do you balance alone time with kids? I think it just goes back to the schedule. For those of you guys who don't know, um, Chris works a crazy work schedule. Um, it's called the Relief Shift. You can explain it. <laughs> it's, you work 48 hours in a week, which is six days and they cram six shifts into five days so i work two swing shifts two day shifts two graveyards in that order and it's pretty crazy yeah so he double back he does like a double back twice a week so like when he works day shift his second day shift and has to work graveyard so he gets off like at 3 30 in the afternoon and has to go back for graveyard that night so his schedule is really tricky um so not only having twin toddlers on top of that um can definitely be tricky when it comes to like us having alone time but i feel like it just really goes back to that calendar that we have i feel like we're really good about like making sure that each of us gets like alone time like time for ourselves like we mainly plan it on oh, my days off on your days on his days off just so that way like you know like i'll write on the calendar like chris's day and he has the full day to do whatever he wants and then i'll put like amy's day like you know vice versa so i think that's what really helps us find balance to actually have time for ourselves individually um because i think that's really crucial when it comes to like being not only just being married but also having kids together like having that time for ourselves is also really important yeah, but you guys spend time with each other as well. Yeah, so, which that's something we've been slacking. <laughs> um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We have a trip We have a trip planned at the end of this month, so that'll make up for it. The next question is from Cheyenne B. Davis, and she's the best. Her question is, what are your future goals together, and where do you see yourself in 20 years? So what are our future goals together? I don't want to know my future goals in 20 days, let alone 20 years. <laughs> I know, I thought this was such a good question because, like, I feel like our future goals is just to, like... Not go to jail. <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever. I think the biggest thing is just, just to stay on course with parenting and, you know, continuously, like, working on our marriage because there's always room for improvement. I want to be that old couple that sits on the porch and the kids that run by just yell at them. <laughs> So that's like where you see yourself in 20 years? Maybe not 20 years, but like in 50 or 60 years <laughs> when I'm cripple. When you're cripple. Yeah. I plan on like, this isn't 20 years, but when I'm like older, I'm going to be rocking like the velvet jumpsuit with my Velcro <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> I'm totally going to do it. I'm not going to lie. No, and like jokes aside, I feel like 
where I see myself, me personally, in 20 years is like I really want to have like a successful platform like with my business and my brand with Self Love Mama and I know um, that's going to take time. So I feel like that would be like a personal goal for me where I see myself in 20 years and like be able to accomplish. Like I eventually want to have like my own merch line. Like I have all these really big goals that I want to accomplish. So I would picture myself accomplishing all those. I guess in 20 years, since the kids would be out and on their own. Oh my gosh, I don't want to think about that. that oh, I didn't even years. think of that. that will be oh, years. I don't want to think of that. It'll be 23. Oh, it's going to make me cry. No. I'll renovate Clayton's room and make it my own. <laughs> so the next question is from Adventures and Parables. This is actually my girlfriend, Sonia. You guys have seen her in previous videos. Um, so she asked, what is your favorite thing to do together and what was your first impression of one another when you first met? So the first question is, what is your favorite thing to do together? I don't know, probably just relaxing. Yeah. Taking the time Netflix to sit and back chill. and, yeah, just relaxing. Yeah, that's my point. favorite thing too. Because that's like... When the kids are around, it's just hectic yeah. most of the time. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. They're really good kids, though. So. Yeah. So I feel like the favorite thing that I like for us to do together, like just me and you, is like when we go for a drive or like go to the park, like when we're actually literally alone. Like that's my favorite time together like it doesn't even matter like what we're really doing necessarily like even you said even just like being in our room watching Netflix like and chilling yeah. <laughs> you know and the second question is what was your first impression of one another when you first met I wasn't into him <laughs> I literally told her I thought of her as my sister yeah so we actually have a pretty funny story on how we met, which this is one of the questions. Um, one of the questions that you guys ask is how we met. So we met through mutual friends. Um, we all played basketball together. I want to say it was like, I don't know how long we knew of each other, but it was like towards the end of the summer. And I remember I had like a little crush on him and we went to the fair together and we were on one of the rides together and he was like yeah i like you like a sister and i was like well there goes that <laughs> but needless to say like later i ended up telling him that i liked him and you know he said he liked me back and i was like not like a sister and he's like nope <laughs> but we were both in relationships yeah, yeah when we first met we were both in relationships and I just like didn't see him that way, but as soon as I was out of relationship and he was out of a relationship, I was like, hey, you single? <laughs> hey, I made the first move, just saying, just saying. The next question is from Ashley um, at Creative Chaos and which she actually has a youtube channel i will link her youtube channel down in the description box as well so her question was how slash where did you guys meet which we kind of answered that question mm -hmm. we met mutually in high school um what is your favorite thing about the other what is something they do that drives you nuts which one of you is a softie in your parenting and which one of you is the disciplinarian. I cannot say that word. So the first question, so I didn't, I don't know if like people know this, but him and I actually also met in high school. So we had mutual friends in high school that all played basketball together. So I was a sophomore and he was a senior and we've been together ever since. And that's, that's how we hit our 10 year anniversary uh, last week. Mm -hmm. Last week, yeah. Was that last week? That was last week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite thing about one another? What's your favorite thing about me? I say your eyes. Oh, really? Of course. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> My favorite thing about him is how corny he is. Like, he is or like cheesy yeah cheesy that's the word that's the right word like he is so cheesy like the super cute like valentine's day love cheesy like and i love that about him like he's like that with me like all year long and it's super sweet that's like my favorite thing i love about you <laughs> this next question is what is something they do that drives you nuts 
what drives you crazy? Like, babe, let me pop your pimples. <laughs> I know okay. I don't want to be picked at. Comment down below though if you, if like I don't know what it is about pimple popping, but that is so satisfying for me. I love popping pimples. Whether it's me or her. Yeah. What bugs me about you? What bugs me about you? What bugs you? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I can't even. What bugs you about me? Hmm. The biggest thing that drives me nuts about him is that he tries to talk to me when I'm in the other room. He'll like start talking, he'll be like, babe, and like ask me a question, and I clearly can't hear him, but he'll keep asking, and I'm like, just come in the room and ask me. Oh, kind of like how you like to talk to me when I'm just got done doing like a 24-hour shift. Yeah. And I'm ready for bed. <laughs> all the all the things that are that drive us nuts about each other are coming out. <laughs> but yeah, so that's one thing that does drive me a little little cuckoo. Is when he tries to talk to me and he's in another room and I can't hear him. So the next question is, which one of you is the softy in your parenting and which one is the disciplinarian? Um, I used to be really hard on Olivia at first. Yeah. I think, so with Olivia, like she, like super side note, like she's really sensitive. She's definitely a lot like me. So it was, I think, really hard for him in the beginning. Um, when it came to disciplining her because we definitely have to take a different route with her when it comes to discipline um, So I might have seemed more like a softie with her But now we've just found a new way to like discipline her like that works best for her and what works best for him But I feel like it depends on the day because there are some days where I'm the softie and I just don't have the energy to even like try to I think that's where I come in and, and I that's fill like, in yeah and then vice versa, guy. like when he when he's really tired and just can't do it, I will come in and kind of be the discipline, like which is nice. I feel like we both really even each other out when it comes to that, yeah. which is a good thing. Marie's doing it, y'all, um, Instagram. She also has a YouTube account as well. I will put her down in the description box. And she asked a couple of questions. Um, her first question was, who said I loved you first and where? I don't think, I don't remember. To be honest, I think it was over a text. Yeah, probably you over were, a text. I think you were in Washington. No, that's when you asked me out. I don't think we said we loved each other though, did we? No. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember who said it first. I don't think like shortly after we started dating, I know we like we didn't wait very long to say it to each other. I feel like it was kind of like mutual. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Because it was Again, like back in high school. Ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, number two, do you guys have weird habits? His weird habit is when he is like focusing and like doing something that he's concentrated on, he does like this with his lips. That's it. That's all I can think of. I don't see myself doing it, so I don't think it's weird. Yeah, I think it's weird. But it's cute. It's like a cute weird. It's like just something you do. You do it every time when you're concentrated. Yeah. It's cute. I don't know, the weird thing that you started doing only after having kids is when I come home after working swing shift <laughs> and I come and go lay down in bed, <laughs> she already knows what's going on. <laughs> She's snoring, so I can't go to sleep right away. <laughs> but that's away. like, that's not weird. That's something that everybody, not everybody, but most people do. I didn't it's start weird snoring until we had kids. It after you had kids. Yeah. That's the weird part. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I used to never, ever snore until we had kids. That just shows you how tired a mom gets. It's real life. Stay at home mom life. Okay. The third question is, where did you guys meet? Which we did answer, you know, that we met in high school. Met playing basketball, and I didn't even let up at all. I still played normal. Yeah, you know what, though? I was the only girl that played basketball with them, because it was a group of guys that played basketball, and I was the only girl that played basketball with them. And I kept up with you guys. Just saying. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. Bonus question. I don't know if you're going to play the video or not, oh. but... Who has the most sex drive? Oh my gosh. This is inappropriate. <laughs> so guys, that is going to be the end of the q and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the self love mama tribe comment down below if you guys want to see chris in some more videos um uh, maybe like some fun challenge videos or something because i like i like it when we film together i think it's fun yeah yeah even though he's shy very shy he's my shy man and i'm the outgoing loud cackling one we balance each other out <laughs> anyways i will see you guys in the next video bye